Developing this morning, helicopters scrambling overnight to rescue about 1,300 passengers from a cruise ship off of Norway. The ship experienced engine failure and is being battered around by strong winds and high waves. Tashani Whitlow has been following this story for us. Good morning, Tashani. Good morning, Michelle. More than 400 of those 1,300 passengers have been rescued. That's according to CNN. Now, three of the four engines on that ship are working now, and tugboats are slowly trying to pull that ship to shore. We had a chance to speak with a passenger aboard that ship. Her name is Deborah Collette. She's from Boston. She told us strong winds and rough waters made that rescue difficult. Now, the passengers were aboard this ship. They were 10 days in of a 12-day cruise through Norway. Now, as we uh, speak, passengers are still being rescued, but there's no estimate on how long it'll take to get all 1,300 passengers off that ship. Distress calls began Saturday for reports of engine problems in bad weather. We are taking on water. What? On the ground. So far, eight people suffered minor injuries in that incident. We'll continue to update you on this story. Meanwhile, this is the second cruise ship in a matter of weeks to leave passengers stranded at sea. Earlier this month, a Norwegian cruise line um, actually got hit by 115 mile per hour winds that actually caused that ship to tilt. That ship weighs about 164,000 tons, so I'll let you know how strong that wind was. For now, live in Boston, Tashani Whitlow, WBZ News this morning.